What's up guys, Zabza here bringing you some more Fire Emblem 12, Heroes of Light and Shadow. Chapter 2, Rebellion of Macedon. Leaving painful memories behind, Marth and his companions left Grust. They landed in Macedon, their new mission to pr rescue Princess Minerva. After the War of Shadows, Macedon was led by Minerva, who exiled the oppressive generals and attempted to reform the military. However, the influential general Ruk 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 I don't want to pronounce that E. I, I'm just gonna say Rook. Opposed Minerva's peace-seeking ways. He assembled the exile. Ah, sorry. He assembled the exiled officers to instigate a coup d'état. Caught unprepared, Minerva was captured by Rook's followers, and his rebel army seized control of Macedon. Then, they dispatched powerful Draco knights. To guard the country's for ah, forested borders. I almost thought it said fortressed borders. I'm like, what? Hey, Jagan, what's up? Yep. So yeah, Draco Knights, Pegasus Knights, very fast. Oh no, don't bring up my speed. Yes, I know. But I'm very, very powerful, and my speed will catch up. I've got the growth to do so. Hey, it's Anna! What's up? <laughs> he doesn't remember. It's like breaking the fourth wall or something. Oh, how's everyone? This is gonna be great. Alright, so, uh, how's everyone? It's pretty much like... Free items, free experience, free st just free stuff. And it's all based off how much time has passed. On the Game Boys, you'd literally have to wait a day. But because this is an emulator, I can actually wait. I can just speed up the clock. But I'm not going to do that. That'd be cheating. Let's check it out real quick. See? Uh, game closer to Danny. Means more support. Gordon, uh, looks like he found something. Immortal Axe. Ooh, I want to I wonder what that does. Marth's been training, so he got some experience. And that's it for that one. Uh, I'm just gonna show, show off what I got real quick. That Immortal Axe. Let's see. Here it is. An axe that restores HP when used. 15 uses. Fairly powerful. That's pretty good. All right. So I'm guessing you can use it like a regular item, as well as a weapon. So let's go ahead and talk. Ah, we got some more supports. Roddy and Danny. Alright. Paper I'm holding? Oh. Oh. Oh! Wow, my unit sucks at directions. Alright, Luke and Danny. Oh no, not this guy again. Quit calling me Danny the Scarred. Stop calling me Danny the Scarred. Why should I duel you? I will crush you. I will destroy you. Uh, ew. <laughs> I don't swing that way. My thoughts exactly. Ugh. You know, I just, it kind of blows my mind just how big of a dick this Lang guy is. I mean, I'm wondering where the hell he got the authority to do anything. You know what I mean? 
because he's just such a huge prick. He has no respect for anyone, and quite frankly, he seems like a coward. Just hiding behind an authoritative figure, you know, kind of like a kid, on, or not a kid, like, um, like, uh, what is it? Like a bully on a playground. They seem all big and tough, but then once they get in front of their parent, but then, uh, once someone bigger, like a teacher, stands in front of them, they can't do anything. And if you ever confront them, they'll just go to a teacher and say they're trying to fight with you or something. Oh, what? I think I missed something. I see triangle attacks. Oh, okay. Talking about the Pegasus sisters. Uh, you know, I think I'm gonna use them, by the way. Okay, so that's it for the talks. Uh, I'm gonna get set up for the map, and I'll be right back. Okay, so before I forget, I just want to show you guys um, what'll happen when you sell that uh, bouillon. Yeah, and Ron has it right now. So, yeah. Go and sell this. 5,000 gold right in your pocket. Awesome. Alright, so let's do this. And here comes one of the best units in the game. I do not kid you. She comes in early enough and has such good growth that she could probably be one of the most broken characters in this game ever. I talk, of course, of Katria, the Pegasus Knight, the first of the three Pegasus sisters you get in this game. Um, except for the last one, you actually get the first three, you get the Pegasus uh, units fairly, fairly um, early. Useful tricks. Okay, we already know uh, about this. Um, just, you can check the uh, range of units by clicking on them or by pressing like the X button or something. So they've still got this one. So just, uh, not gonna bother. I don't know why they have... They, this guy doesn't even move, so I don't, don't why, I don't know why they even bother with that. But, uh, just a quick thing. This thief has a lady sword. Uh, only women can use it, however, it is exceptionally powerful, so let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick. Yeah, 12 might. That is freaking amazing. So, I would suggest getting someone over there to grab it real quick. So, I'm just gonna send, uh, Cecile and the other, others that way. And... Ah, Luke. You're getting left behind. Let's go ahead and visit this village. I guess I can send someone back to visit these villages. Well, yeah, ha! I just went over this. Uh, over here's a village, and can I get to it? Yep, let's go to it. Visit. And here we get one of the three axe-cutting brothers. This is Cord. He is a fighter, and he is... Okay. He's average. Uh, besides the besides the Pegasus Knights, the three wood chopping brothers, known as Cord, Ford, and Barst, can all perform a triangle attack. So, right off the bat, you get two units who can do who who begin the triangle attack. You don't get all three yet, but you'll get them soon enough. And just coming in at level two, he's got an E in axes, which is not great, but it's usable. Um, I do not plan to keep him a uh, fighter plan on changing him to something else but I'll show you what it is when the time comes so moving right along uh, this map is fairly big so your non horseback units are gonna have a little trouble getting through because let's face it they're gonna be a little bit slow um, can I get in the way yeah I can get in the range but just of that archer which or not archer the hunter which is just gonna I'll just take damage, so I'm not going to do that. And... Ah, uh, why not? Alright. Now they're talking about the restoration, except for Harden's Country, who actually had it pretty easy. Oh no, here come soldiers. Uh, this time app is so big, I've got quite a bit of lag. Let's see if I can fix that real quick. Why is it on just their turn, too? Uh, whatever. 
Let's get Luke up here. Because I'm telling you right now, I am not, repeat, not letting this guy escape. I am getting that lady sword. And ironically, Cecile's probably going to be the one to kill, kill him and get the lady sword. So, good news there. I won't have to trade to anyone. It's funny, I sent four, four mounted units just after one thief. Explain to me how that works. Alright, we got a hunter here, hunter here, and let's go ahead and send in Drog. Yeah, love it. So then you can go ahead and send, um, okay, you know what, this is really bugging me. I'm going to see if I can do something about this speed. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, so I could do something about the game speed, however, it really messed with it. Um, so I'm just not gonna bother, cause I got the settings to where they're okay, but, yeah. Anyway, let's talk about Cord. Uh, Cord has got some good growths, they're decent enough. Uh, using, just based off his growths, he'd turn out to be an average unit. Maybe lacking a little bit in speed and skill, but overall pretty good. His HP and his strength will not disappoint. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But, and I don't think he'll really get that much defense, but when you're looking at a fighter, you're not really concerned about defense, you know? Um, what else? Oh, 74, that was cool. Oh, gang up on him? Oh, crap! Oh, crap. The worst part is, I can't kill this guy. I'm supposed to recruit him. Ah, oh, crap, 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 crap. It's going to take at least one turn for Katria to get over there. I guess that Cord can be bait again. Uh, I don't know. Crap, I did not think that through. I should have been watching for that. Well, good news is I can one-shot these guys with Drog. Bam. Level up. Let's see what I get. Strength, defense. Okay, standard knight level up. That's fine. Um, let's see. Four, eight. Oh, you'll get doubled. You will get doubled hard. Ah, shoot. Oh, I can block him off. I think that's what I'll do. So, go ahead and heal now. And I will have Cord come in, wait. I'll have my unit come over here and wait. <sighs> Shoot, he can still reach there. Oh, Marth can go there. And I can go ahead and attack this, take out this guy while I'm at it. We got a plan. So I think that's all I have to worry about for now. Yeah. She's out of range now. Uh, he can't move too much, so let's go ahead and get Katria within it, just like right outside of his range. Because she's the one who's supposed to recruit him. Um, actually, you know what, let's take a look at Katria real quick. Let's, let's take a look at why she's one of the most broken units in the game. Look at those growths. I tell you right now, they are easily the most abusable growths in the game. Especially with these, especially with these stats, when she starts off with, she comes in at level six, which for a level six peg knight, that's not too bad. And she, like I, I keep saying it, she's probably going to be your most easily abused teammate. Uh, I kind of wanted to get the kill with Seal. Let's see if I can double. Oh, I can. Give me that lady sword. Oh, I probably should have attacked with the iron lance. Oh well. Give me the sword. Yes! I'll show you the huge difference in attack when she get when she gets it. Oh, something I should probably start paying attention to now. Um I'm pretty close to those Draco Knights now. Uh, pretty close to the range, so I should probably watch out. And I'm pretty sure those knights are gonna start moving soon. Uh is there anyone else I'm not Oh, Gordon and Ryan. 
Um, Gordon and Ryan can't really do much else, so... What I think I'll have them do is I'll just have them, like, wait here and, like, bait the soldiers into attacking them. Because it looks like the soldiers can only attack one of them. Okay, go for Cord. That works for me. I'm pretty sure Cord can just completely kill these guys. Yep! So, he's dead. You're dead. Ha! Huh. Soldiers suck. Hey, Bulnuary. And Warren's going to attack... Okay, I was in no danger. But I need to get Mousy in here and heal. Yeah, here comes the Cavaliers. Okay, but looks like I'm plenty in range now, so... Let's get Katri over here and talk. So why the hell are you here, she's pretty much saying. But uh, he's pretty much just doing it for the money. And she convinces him otherwise. So let's just say welcome to the Team Warren. And that's it for that. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, you got to be careful about attacking these guys because these, uh, we, these Draco Knights are right in range. I mean, they are right there. Hold on. There we go. So, if you move up to attack, you can get hit pretty hard. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to come over here, and I'll have Roddy handle these two guys. And just move over in this forest and bait them out. So, Steel Lance is probably my best option. And I'll have Cecile come over here, because I don't want them to be in the forest either. And let's go ahead and show off that Lady Sword. And Luke can come here just to, you know, be there. Anyone else? No, oh, there's gotta be someone else. Where? Oh, got a whole half an army there. Anyone else? What am I thinking? Uh, so yeah, gonna get heal up cord. Gotta make sure everything's onky dory. Level up. Magic! Whoa, massive lag. Magic luck defense. That's a level I can dig. Oh, shoot. Okay, um. Jeez. Okay, let's go ahead and have Drog come over here and completely wall this uh, knight or cavalier. That'll work. And bring my unit up. Just slowly advance on this last fort because the, the chapter is pretty much over once you get past this initial wave of enemies. Uh, I don't really plan on using Warren, so... Oh, you know what? I'll have him come over and visit these villages that I, that I wanted to do. Go ahead and move Cord up. And Mark can, Marth can do a map save. Enemy phase. So yeah, here's, here's the Lady Sword. Look at this damage. 15, right off the bat. This is like Silver Sword range, I tell ya. Uh, Iron Sword. Oh, great choice. Ha! You can't do anything to Drog. Be funny if he doubled. Actually, it'd be funnier if he didn't. He didn't double. Okay. Mess. Oh, Cecile's taking a lot of damage here. Oh, I really hope that she doesn't die. I really, really hope she doesn't die. Okay. Phew. Warren turned out to be good fodder there. All right. Or not fodder, because he's not dead, but distraction! Let's get... Why don't we try and get Katria her first kill? Uh, not strong enough to kill. Roddy and Katria, then. Yeah, because you can't double for some reason. I don't know why you can't double. Yeah, that's one of the... What's one of the beefs I have with this emulator and big maps? It seems that it kind of slows down the animations and just the overall gameplay just a little more than I'm comfortable with. I mean, the laptop I'm using is pretty good. It's got a lot of... It's got like 8 gigs of RAM. And, uh... I don't know what... 
that should be enough, but sometimes I still just get this horrible lag, and it just kind of messes with the gameplay for me, you know? Um, I think I'm ready to start baiting these Dracos down, so let me just check the defense real quick. So you got 7 speed, 9 defense, wow. I've got 16 attack and 8 speed, so... I think Cord will do the job here. I'll just go ahead and heal him up and set him down. So your best option against uh, these knights is probably just to come in and smash them with some of your strongest strongest hitters. Uh, I think I'm gonna have Roddy come in here and wait. He can do very good damage. And Cecile can probably back up just in case. I think Drog... Oh, Drog's still gotta take care of this guy. Not Steel... Iron Lance. That'll be... That'll do. But yeah, um... Once you get past that first initial wave, the rest of the map is pretty easy. Go ahead and bring my archers in just to get ready for this Weaver Knight. Move my unit up, bring up Marth, and that's it for the turn. Alright, let's see what they got. Let's see how you handle this, Luke. Eight damage, that's not too bad at all. It'd be nicer if he doubled. He's not going to, but it'd be nicer. And against Warren, let's see what happens. Or not Warren, Cord. You know, Warren looks like Cord. Like Cord, Board, and Bars. It just looks like a re... They splice his hair. Oh, holy shit! Holy shit! Oh my god! That was amazing! I mean, seriously, what the hell just happened, Cord? I guess someone really wants to get used. Okay, <laughs> Um, so yeah, if you saw in the last one, Cord just got an amazing level up which was, I repeat, amazing. And, yeah, amazing. And I'm gonna take out this, uh... I'm actually gonna probably gonna give Katria the kill here, because I definitely want to use her... I actually want to use all three of the Pegasus sisters, but as you get pretty late in the game, so it's gonna be pretty hard to use. Alright, I can double. Let's go ahead and kill this guy. The boss is a little bit annoying, considering just considering his um, speed, defense, and the fact he uses axes, which are pretty powerful. But I don't think it's anything you guys can't handle. So I'm gonna have Cecile come over and get healed. Actually, before that, I'm I kind of want to make sure this guy dies. Uh, let's bring in Ryan. Iron Bow will weaken him seriously. And just for that level up, just for that level up, Cord, you deserve the kill. Down you go. I think it's kind of odd they throw in these um, second class units against you just this early in the game as like regular, regular enemies. But it's like it kind of makes it. I don't want to say it makes sense, but it's interesting to say the least. Because they sure they're weakened, but they give you so much experience. I mean, it seems a little unfair to the game. I mean, I'm sure on like normal di or hard, not normal, harder difficulties like uh, lunatic hard mode, lunatic reverse, that those things are absolute monsters which you want to just disappear off the face of the planet. But as they are now, they're just not that intimidating. Don't get me wrong, you make one wrong move and they'll kick your ass. But right now, no, they're not that intimidating at all. Uh, I think I already visited this village, but uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, look at... That is so interesting. I never noticed this. You see these? how these doors are open and this one's closed? I guess that means that you already visited that village. That is so cool. I didn't notice that before. It's a neat little thing. Ah, uh, Drog's gonna have a hard time catching up. Cause he's gonna go all the way around. But, let's go ahead and visit the rest of these villages. 
Warren's a bit of an idiot. <laughs> Dude, War Warren's right there. <laughs> you just said that to Warren. <laughs> Oh god, I love these generic conversations. <laughs> oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. That, but that's just too, too funny. Absolutely too funny. Oh boy. Okay, so this boss is... Uh, yeah, he's kind of intimidating. He's got high strength, decent speed, high defense. And he uses axes, so you gotta watch out. I mean, he does drop a steel axe, which is nice, but you gotta be careful, because otherwise he'll just hand axe you. And while they don't have the best of accuracy, it's not gonna stop it from getting a lucky hit on you, you know what I mean? Yeah, some of you out there know the 30% that shouldn't have been, or even the rare 1% critical, 1% chance to hit, yeah, that's happened to me back in Fire, Fire Emblem 8 Sacred Stones. I was, using, um, a mid, I was using a Mermidian, all of a sudden, the band, I see 1% chance to hit 1% crit, and it's like, no, I just got this bad gut feeling, I'm like, no, 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 then all of a sudden, I hear the band, I hear, I see the animation, I see the bandit jump, and down goes my Mermidian. That was awful. Alright, so just because I've got the weapon triangle advantage, I think I'm going to tank with Marth. And I don't know who I want to get the kill. I'm thinking Katria. Um, but I'm not sure. Maybe I want to go with Marth. Because I usually like finishing off the main enemy with Marth. Actually, I think I'll go with Kord because out of the units I know I'm using, he's probably the most underleveled. And I've got a good chance to hit him. Very good chance, actually. And uh, he's got... Uh, Oh, I'll know. Here's what I'll do. I'll w go ahead and just wait for this turn. He'll attack with the Steel Axe next turn, and then I can bring in my archers. Is it? Yeah, this is going over the Lady Sword. And I think someone else was talking about regular treasures before, but not specifically the Lady Sword. Yeah, you guys are pussies. I don't care. I don't... You guys are pathetic. But now that he's got the Steel Axe equipped, I can go um, come in and uh, just snipe him with some archers. It's a shame he used what, the, steel axe, the Steel Axe, though. Uh, do I want to use Gordon? Well, I guess I don't have a choice. Ryan's down there. How much damage can I do with um, Steel Bow? Way too much. Okay, I'll just go with the Iron. And, uh, how much damage could Cord do again? Not quite enough. Marth, how much could you do? Just enough. Uh, shoot, my healer's down there. Uh, I think I can take another hit. Yeah, I can take another hit. Ooh, I'm glad I could take another hit. Go ahead, Marth. Block axes with your face. So I'll just finish you off. Down you go. And I believe that gets me a level up. Yep, level up. Man, that gave me a lot of experience. HP, speed. I'm okay with this. And I got a steel axe, which I cannot use. But once again, I am okay with this. Uh, I need someone over here I can heal. Catria. And let's go ahead and visit that last village. I still can't believe that villager called Warren an idiot to his face. That was so hysterical. Beware when Draco Knights are around. Oh, okay. Watch out for Draco Knights and Pegasus Knights distance. They have humongous ranges, okay? Uh, I think that just about does it for this chapter. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, not a whole lot of ambush spawning or anything like that. Just gotta watch out for the Draco Knights. So, you know, I'm gonna actually wait a couple turns and have, uh, Malicia heal, because 
you know, staff users need all the experience they can get. Level up. Speed. Right. Okay. So what am I on? Turn 12? I'll wait like three more turns. Well, I'll just get people in here as long as I can keep healing them. Uh, so, yeah, that's it for the chapter. Um, next time... Next time, I'll go over reclassing a little bit more in depth, like I said I would. Because I'm going to be changing Cord into something else. Because um, the Axe Brothers don't exactly have the best stats as they are now. However, if you change them into something else, uh, if you reclass them, they become... So they become a lot better, uh, just statistically. Anyway, we're done here. Map clear. Blue flag. And we got some Jagan action. Oh, it's Lind. Uh, Lind was from the last game. Um, she was the only... She was pretty much the only unit who could use the spell known as Aura. I mean, you could get another unit who could, but you have to do it with reclass or, you know, promotion. Because they'd be, well, clerics. She is pretty much the only female mage you got in the last game. And here she's just gonna show up and give you the fire emblem. Oh. So now so now Marth's wondering why the hell would she get me something so important if something's hasn't gone wrong this hasn't gone awry. So yeah, Lind, uh, Lind is going to join us at the beginning of the next chapter, and you get the Fire Emblem! Uh, the Fire Emblem has act can open chests, and you pretty much will never need a thief except for doors and lockpicks. But that's it for Chapter 2. I hope you guys will join me next time.